You are very well known for your great use of colour. Is it quite an instinctive process? It is. I just respond to what's happening in the painting. So I'll be looking at an area that's yellow and I might go, oh, you know, it'd look good next to that, this sort of strange burgundy colour, but with a bit of, you know, a, a bit of ochre in it. I know a lot of people think in terms of, oh, that colour needs to be colder or that needs to be warmer. I never really think like that. I just look at it and go, oh, that's it or it isn't it. You know, I first became aware of this painting on Facebook. It was actually a fully framed painting yeah. in an earlier incarnation. Right. Would you have left that painting for a reasonable period of time before you came back to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. If you see a painting after six months or something, you know all the problems that it's got. Whereas if you're right in the middle of painting it, you often can't see the biggest problem because you're too close to it and you're too concerned with all the small problems. So it's great to have some distance. I really enjoy drawing in carbon pencil and charcoal because if you add a little bit of wet brushwork to it, you can create a wash. And after a while, uh, this was getting really built up and I was thinking of a way that I could get the paper back to being white again if I'd overworked an area and I wanted to rework it, for example. So I started to experiment with sticking bits of paper over the top and drawing over the top of that. And this sort of proved to be something that I liked the look of as well because it fractured the space in a kind of cubist way. And suddenly things were jumping forward and things were being thrown back and it was really interesting. So you could play with that as well. And you could play with the shape of the paper that you cut out. So you'd have these lines coming across the drawing that um, were quite sort of sharp lines, very different to the soft mark of charcoal. Um, I asked a paper conservator, you know, what could I use to, to glue it? And, um, and she said to use an acrylic gel medium, which is oh, really? pH neutral. So that's what I use for the glue. And it does, it's very quick, quick drying and everything. So it's really good. Well, congratulations again, John. Thanks so much for meeting me here today. It's great to see you. Lovely to see you again too, Maria.